yourself. I can send you one that you used to stay and need to accompany you right home. Fine, then I'll accompany you, accompany her home. And you ought to go back to the class before Miss Nadia finds out. Yeah, and go back to the class. <sighs> okay, okay. <coughs> He meant to take Ray home so that he could skip the class. But Molin and Ray told her to go back. Anyway, I wonder what is happening to Ray next. Hmm, let's find out together then. Come on. Molin, I think I've got a fever. My head is aching and my temperature is high. I almost threw up in the classroom. Oh, honey, we should take you to see a doctor. Come. Good afternoon, though. Good afternoon. Please sit down. Thank you. So, how is my daughter's condition, though? Mm, it's only fever. Don't worry. I'll just give her some antibiotics. Okay, all right. Um, perhaps it's because she's too tired. Have you been uh, visited? Yes, lately. I had to study with my exams, practice with my band and stuff. Mm. I suggest you to slow down and have enough rest. <coughs> Do you eat well? Well, not really. I often skip my breakfast lately. That's not right. I advise you to eat properly. Okay. And here's the medicine I have you to take. And uh, this is a letter for school. I recommend you to have two days off. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Guys, once again. You saw several expressions used in giving suggestion and advice in that previous dialogue. Now, let's hear what Mick has got to say about them. Mickey! Hi there! Hey, do you know that there are suggestions or advice that are strong because they are given by an expert or authorized people? Authorized people are people who are skillful in certain fields, so their suggestions or advice are supposed to be followed. One example is a doctor. Now, let's take a look at the dialogue again. I said you should slow down and have enough rest. Here, the doctor is giving Ray a suggestion. There is a big possibility that Ray would obey the suggestion as it was given by a doctor for a good reason. I advise you to be properly. And now, the doctor is giving Ray advice. This advice has a bigger possibility to be obeyed by Ray than a suggestion. It is because the advice has a meaning of the right thing that someone has to do. This is a letter for school. I recommend you to have today's off. Here, the doctor is giving Ray a recommendation letter. He recommends her to have two days off to rest. Guys, a recommendation can only be given by someone that is authorized as a doctor. In Ray's case, the teacher will give Ray two days off as she is recommended by a doctor. Moreover, Ray has the recommendation letter. If the recommendation was given by Eno or Molin, who are not authorized, the teacher wouldn't mind it. Yo, still with me? Good. Now it's time for repetition. We'll try to say several expressions that have been discussed in the previous segment. Now, shall we start? It's your turn now, Mick. Okie dokie. 
Here's the first sentence. I suggest you to slow down and have enough rest. Come on, try it. That was good. Next, I advise you to eat properly. Your turn now. Bravo, guys. All right, this is the last sentence. I recommend you to have two days off. Repeat it, guys. Wow, you're good. I want to ask you to play a game called Word Hunt. It's easy. All you have to do is to find three, three hidden words in the box full with random letters. Are you ready? Take a look at the box closely. Now, hunt our first hidden word. Did you find it? Suggest? Great! What else, guys? Have you got it? Of course, there is a word should hidden in the box. Brilliant! Okay, last word, guys. So, what is the last word hidden? Yup, that's right. Advice is our last word. Well done, everyone! Hi, guys. I'm afraid that we are running out of time. But before we close the show, I want to read 